Hey everybody, Conodger here. Welcome back to Formula One 2019. Almost an 18. 2019, as we approach round number 11 of our F1 2019 career. I really just can't say 2019 today, can I? Either way, we came off of a very successful weekend in Silverstone, now headed to Germany. I really did not expect to do nearly as well in the rain in Silverstone as we did. But let's, let's hope that we enter some kind of dry spell now. There's just been too much rain. Way too much rain. So, uh, I know Germany is the place that we had that amazing rain-soaked race in the real F1 2019 Fantastic. series. Well done. Oh, thanks. We, we already went over this, Emma. Season. But uh, I, I would like that to be over with now. Let's look at our R&D stuff. And see, we have 1,800 points to spend. That means I can probably go ahead and do some kind of major work here on the chassis. Luckily, we have a lot of one-week projects available to us. This is weight reduction. That seems important. We also have a weight redistribution, but I think I'm going to go for the up one, and that is tire wear. So that's two we can do in this chassis category for the weekend. Uh, the question there is, do we want to try and spend some money on one of these? Ah, that's another 400, or sorry, another 80 points away. Yeah, I really just don't, I don't feel, I, I know I got a suggestion to buy more of those, but I really feel like you, if you do the interview process right, you can avoid doing those altogether. And I think I'm gonna try and stick with that logic. Uh, in the aero department, we have a bunch of one-week stuff available, including a one-week on drag reduction. And I think that's the direction I would like to go aero-wise. That leaves us with 400, and I don't believe there's anything we can do for 400. Not as far as I know. No. Even over here? Mm-mm. No way. Alright, so that leaves us with some extra points, and that should get us, uh... Uh, the ability to buy multiple things next week, but that's three major upgrades, actually three minor upgrades to the car, if those go through for this week in Germany. So that should be good. I don't think there's anything else I really want to cover in here. Let's go ahead and head to Germany. All right, we got our messages. Looks like we need to have two clean races in this uh, in this next couple of races, which will be interesting. I don't really know what clean race means. Let's look at... Alright, so only the aero department upgrade failed. So that's not too bad. What in the world? Video game! <laughs> oh, man. I drive qualifying, but yet another rainy race? And what does that even mean? Does that mean, like, monsoon? What does the three lines mean? Rain, monsoon, rain, light rain... No rain. Wow. Wow. Development comparison. We are now very much so tied, I would say, with Haas. And uh, the three of these teams continue, or sorry, the four of these teams continue their climb. Renault having a big upgrade this week as well. Performance comparison. There is the overall. We are still behind racing point who is sp score i guess that's what they're called sp score racing point and mclaren but all very very tight in that midfield battle all right well let's let's head out to practice today but knowing that we're gonna have another rainy race all right so i'm running a pretty similar setup here to silverstone i find the two tracks to kind of need something vaguely similar uh, and I'm also running it in some kind of configuration that I feel will be okay in the rain so a little bit softer in suspension a little bit down in brake pressure uh, let me actually tip that to the rear a little bit more and uh, a little bit lower tire pressure than usual just you know keeping some things in mind to try and get a setup that has a balance of working in the dry but also okay let's update the setup also has the ability to do something in the wet so here's the things we got to keep in mind we know it's going to be a rainy race so we don't need to worry about tire strategy here at all 
one thing that has been brought up to me is that I might want to try and save a set in Q1, though. If I can get out of Q1 on mediums, I should do that to try and save a set of those softs. That might be a habit to try to get into. This is also the Hockenheim target, and literally just before this recording, we found out that Hockenheim will not be returning for 2020. It was a one-year contract with a... oops. With an oops, I say. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, it's gonna take a couple laps here. Uh, it was a one-year contract, and then a, uh, an option on the second year. It was, it was presumed that Catalonia was gonna lose their date, which didn't really upset too terribly many people. Not a lot of people like the track in Catalonia, Spain. I am not one of those people. I've always really liked that track. So, um, when that news broke today, I was... I was not terribly upset. So it looks like next season there will be a... 22 race season, unless anything else changes. Because we are going to be adding Zanvort. As well as Vietnam. <laughs> I missed that turn. So, two new tracks to learn. That's one thing we don't really get a lot of in this season. Honestly, we haven't had a lot of in a while. It's been a minute since we've had to learn a new track. That was a, that was a good score, but let's try and do better. These tires are really a little bit rough around this place, even using what I feel is a pretty high downforce setup. That's a nice string right there. I've had this little goal in my head where I've really, I really want to do one of these all purple all the way through. I don't think Hockenheim, well, definitely not this time, is a track that I will, uh, will do that at. Probably somewhere I'm a little bit more comfortable with. This is not what I would put in my top 10 tracks. Definitely one that I've always had some struggles with. On Discord this morning, we were we were being nostalgic over the old circuit, but I didn't really enjoy the old circuit that much either, because it included this part of the track, and this is the part of the track that I've never had a really good grasp of. I think, as you can tell. Eh, might be good enough. Yeah, we did it. Alright. Good deal. Car feels okay. I think once we get off these hard tires, it'll be better. I'm doing things in a little bit of a weird order. I'm gonna do a qualifying run right now. Because I want to get a good feel for if I need to make setup changes... ...now, rather than later. Because I use that race practice program as my longer run. So I'd rather make any changes before that. Just try to reduce the number of laps that I end up doing in practice. That's, that's mostly a me thing. I try not to over-practice with this. I like, I like this being a challenge. I think that's why going to no traction control was such a tantalizing thing for me. Because it definitely made all of this feel very fresh and super challenging again. We are down on this time. I feel like we have too much down for us for qualifying trim. Unless we find a lot of time down here, which it doesn't look like we will. Which is interesting, considering I think we have too much down for us. This turn's been real nasty to me over the years. I'm sure if I should try another lap or not. Something used up all our energy right there. Hopped it through the first turn. Let's see if maybe we can use a little bit of a Stroll toe. 
No, because he dove out of the way. We're actually down on time and we're gonna run out of battery power. Well, uh, I think we'll probably end up having to redo this program then. Does feel like we need a bit more speed. Getting killed on the straightaways. All right, lesson learned. So we're here in two now, and what I've done is pulled some arrow off of the front and rear, but mostly off of the front. I'm at a I'm at a three five setup right now, which is pretty big split. But that's because I know I can, in theory, after qualifying, put more arrow back on the nose. But the back, um, I got what I got, you know? Trying to really push it through there. I do know I've got some pretty heavily worn items on the car as well. So I'm at a little bit of a loss of power at the moment. So that's going to be hurting our qualifying pace. So hopefully in this race program we, we have enough pace. So far, so good. So this won't be the setup I run in the race because it's going to be wet. But it'll be darn close. Just trying to find that good balance of what will work in the dry qualifying session. I feel like Hockenheim's one of those tracks where Track position is really important, especially on this smaller layout. There's a passing opportunity, but that's kind of it. There's a passing opportunity. I suppose there's two. There's one in Sector 1, one in Sector 2. But this section here, I feel like it kind of breaks up the field real bad and makes it hard to make moves down at the other end. And in the race, we won't have DRS, in theory, so... No relying on that down here. We need a little battery power to rocket us out right here. My times have been pretty good, like the times in practice sessions overall have been fine. But just comparing to what the team expects in the program is not so great. We're actually getting really close to catching up with the real F1 season thanks to the summer break for F1 and thanks to the fact I ended up doing double races two weeks in a row. The double race is definitely going to calm down for me for the time being, but it's not impossible that by the end of our season... Gosh, this turn. I can't, I can't even count the amount of times I've done that exact same mistake in that turn. Well, it's gonna be an elongated, uh, practice program now. Ooh, those rears got dirty. Gotta hope to clean them off before I get to, uh, start of the next lap. What was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, catching the end of the season. That would be cool if we ended on the same week. Basically, just start over right now. Get out of the grass. Grass be slippery. Got it. I'm excited to see how the rest of our season plays out here. Now that we're starting to show some good results, you know, it leads me into believing we have uh, we have an ability to maybe get ourselves a, a victory near one, but it would have to be like a Goldilocks situation. We're not just going to pace ourselves into one, you know? We'd have to strategy our way into one, which is fun, but ultimately it's not not what you want to have to be doing. Need a little speed here. Oh, a warning for exceeding track limits. Was it not intentional? Well, it seems like I'm struggling for pace here. That's two laps. I, I will not get a perfect score in this program now. 
I know I have engine problems, like I know I'm down on power, but I don't think that's excusable at this juncture. I feel like I'm just really struggling to get rear power down, and that's costing us most of our time. This is definitely a track that I struggle with. And then I overshot the hairpin. Wasn't a huge mistake, but cost some time. Just seeing how much I'm struggling to get power down now makes me a little bit nervous about the race in the rain. Pretty good run through there. Let's keep it out of the grass here. Definitely feel like I still need a little bit more rear bias. There we go. Better lap. Starting to hit some marks now. Now it's feeling better. Not too bad. Certainly getting a nice long run in, gonna have plenty of tire data. Even with the, you know, a spin in there. Yeah, I definitely need to do some brake adjustments. It's only gonna be worse when it's rainy. I feel like I'm really offline through there. I need to find a better turn in point. Certainly interesting to uh, to pick up time over these runs. Shows how much in it there really is. You know the tires aren't as good as they were. Well, a good result we'll have to do for this week. All right, let's look at our parts. We got an engine that's 58% used up. We have two new engines available to us as of right now. We are at basically the halfway point of the season, so to have used two engines, we're pretty safe to start with a brand new one now, and I'm gonna do that. Uh, the kinetic energy is still pretty all right, and we do have a little bit of ways to go on that. The MGUH is pretty used up, 69%. We got one that's 39, we'll go to that one. Energy store, we're at 43. We have one that is at 21, we'll go to that one. Turbocharger is at 65. We have one that's at 37, we'll go to that one. Control electronics, 49 at 21. We'll go to the ones at 21. Okay, so that should get us through the middle part of the season, all right. I'm gonna do a practice three run. I would like to try that qualifying run again with a with a new motor installed or you know new new engine components i don't know how many tires we have available yeah it's gonna force us to be on mediums to do this i don't know if that adjusts the program or not i don't know if it if it gives us a medium tire target or if it's still going to give us a soft tire target but i still think this is important even if we fail the program I feel like um, it's good data to get. How is the thing in qualifying on the medium tire? Getting that good entry into turn one. Really important. Still gotta work on that brake bias, I think. Well, let's see. Does it have getting up and go on the straightaways now? Not really, we're still losing time on the straightaway. That's not great. I could knock it out of the turn there. 
I think we're still going up against a, a soft tire time. So I don't think we had a hope in the world of ever doing this program, but... Hmm. Yeah. This might be, uh... This might be a tough one. Considering where they say we're gonna qualify. Man, I just lose all front end grip there. Alright, I think I need to go up on front down force, down on rear. And, uh... Hope that that works for qualifying. Welcome back to qualifying, where we're waiting for the lights to turn green in the pit lane to signify the start of the session here at the Hockenheim Ring for this weekend's German Grand Prix. Alrighty, no delays or anything like that, but I am going to go to the setup real quick. I am going to do a couple quick changes. So, I think what I'm going to do is go up to a 4 and 4. And then, if we need more front downforce in the rain, we have an available click of front to put in it. It just feels like I need some help with the front end more than anything. I also put a little bit more camber in, and I'm going to bring the brake pressure down and the brake bias back to the rear, and hope that that helps. I think what I'm going to do is, since this is a longer session, let's go out on soft tires, or medium tires at first. Oh, there's a one second gap though. I don't think this is the track to do it then. A one second delta between tires. It's probably going to be too much to overcome. Let's see. So this is all of our available tires. We have three softs, a medium, another set of softs, and then a medium and a hard. That medium and hard is irrelevant. Yeah, I think we can end up with softs this weekend because we know it's going to be a rainy race. And let's not worry about it. And honestly, at the moment, I don't know that we have Q3 pace. So let's let's just worry about making it through. Certainly a cloudy, dreary day here in qualifying. A premonition of what is to come. Got a Renault up ahead of us. Let's try not to overshoot this last turn. Not a great launch, though. Such a short run down the front straightaway. It basically doesn't matter. A lot of speed in qualifying. You hit big bottom out there. Significantly better on the brakes. That was worth... That was worth a tenth alone. Not as fast as Hawk and I used to be, but still really quick down to here. Immensely better on the brakes there. And because of that, I was able to have a better exit, too. Just a little bobble, but so far... Dang it. Other than that, the car felt really good. That turn's still fighting me. It feels like I still need just a little bit more front end. How did we do? Not too good. Not too good at all. We got a lot of time to find, I believe. Uh, we are behind Rakuten. And just ahead of Weber. So let's see here. We definitely need to go out again. We're already down to like 10th or 11th. Actually, we're probably down to like 15th by the time we got to this point. Um, We have three sets of softs, a medium, and then a saved set for the last session. So, in theory, if I use two sets of softs here, we're only going to have one for Q2. That would be a major problem. So I think what I might need to do is try again on the same set and see if I can improve since I did majorly screw up on that lap and hope that that gets us somewhere overall really don't feel very optimistic here i'm in p12 right now i need to find at least half a second on tires that are now used hopefully that just means no mistakes and we can get there but uh Still gonna be rough. Oh, 
already a little slower. So much more confidence on the brakes right there. Versus practice. We are certainly not quicker yet. Just now tipped over to the quicker side. Trying to get everything I could out of there and spun the tires a bit. Completely missed my turn in point. This might be game over. This might be game over already. Jeez. This is rough. The car just feels on top of the track. It doesn't feel in the track at all. Especially through there. That was bad. No good at all. I guess I'll have to see how it looks. We might have to go on a new set. Looking at the times, I it's way too close. We're gonna have to go out. We're gonna have to find a half second. We're already down to 13th. The new tires were 8 tenths a, a lap quicker, so... We'll hope that it works. It's a shame that it has to come to that, but I just simply don't have the pace here. I gotta get it right, though. I gotta get these turns right. Especially down here in Stadium. Just gotta suck it up and will the car through here as much as I... I know I'm no good through there. Throw it through turn one. Pretty good exit. Pretty much mirroring that first lap. I don't think we're losing terribly much time in sector one. It's two and three where we're getting killed. Good launch. Alright, don't miss your turning point down here. Nice. Back kicked out a bit there, but it was actually alright. Good. Hard on the engine, but I had to get it woed. Alright, that's the lap we needed, but... Putting myself in actual physical pain to get it to go that fast. Um, definitely... Definitely having to stretch the car real thin. Which feels risky. Does not make me very nervous for the race. P7, P10 looks very encouraging, but actually I'm a little nervous still uh, going into Q2 here. If it, if it looks like it's going to be a Q2 run, then that's fine. But I, I really only get one opportunity here, I think. So I'm questioning, should I go out on a set of used first to get my bearings straight, get a Delta to go against, and then put the new set on. I think I should, because there's no risk of having to start on these tires. Usually that's a risk, but not today. So let's try that. Let's try a slightly used set. Let's try a slightly reduced pace knowing that, and hope to just give us a good feeler lap. Definitely still want more front-end grip down here, but at this point, there's nothing I can do about that. We're just gonna have to hope that when we throw some front wing into it in the rain, that the front-end works okay. We know it's gonna be real heavy rain 
and that's not when we do well, but the race will end with a drying track, and that's when we tend to do better. A little wheel spin. Yep. The rears just can't handle back-to-back -back laps. Even though, obviously, these sat around for a session, they're heat-cycled now, and they're not not able to do what they can do when they're sticker or brand new. Yeah, that was a 14.4. But, like I said, that was just to give me a guidance. That was just to give me uh, a little feel of, of what I'm looking for. Just about three minutes left to go, or four minutes left to go. Not a lot of time, so we're going to go ahead and go out there and, and get going. This is a pretty short track, we have plenty of time. But... Two minutes remaining in the session. We need a good lap here. We're out to qualify. Pretty much exactly what Jeff just said there. We are definitely out as of now, but we've not put in a real lap. So let's just hope... That this lap is a good one. Trying not to put too much stress on the rear tires there. Drove it in a little deeper than I have been. Didn't hurt too bad. You basically need a second on this lap, I feel. Great exit there. Really good. Got that little bit of rear rotation we needed on entry. That's perfect. Pretty decent exit there, not perfect. Sorry, engine. We had to slow down. Jeez. Oh, I didn't quite get a second, but we'll see. It's P6 as of now. P6. That might do it, and it'll be darn close. My mouth was just a gape through the entire stadium section. I, I just couldn't, couldn't even speak. I couldn't breathe through there. That's how hard I'm pushing the car. No exaggeration. Oh man, I I worked really, really hard to get us into Q3 today, and uh, we did it. Kimmy did not. He lost half a second in this session somehow. He was running 13s in practice. He ran 13s in Q1. I don't know what happened. Um, but we go through. It is, uh, let's see, it's us, Stroll in the Red Bull, Magnussen and Haas, Perez in the Racing Point, and Hulkenberg in the Renault of the, of the best of the rest here. All right, I really do feel like it's important to start as far up as we can. We only have one set of tires to use. So I think what I'm going to do is try that same strategy again of going out on an old set of softs and then going out on the new set. I I want to start as far up as we can here because I really fear the mist in this in this what is apparently going to be torrential rain. And I also really fear we're going to drop back a lot of positions early. So the further up we are, the more we can lose and stay in points. Gonna make for a little bit of a longer qualifying session today, but I think it's worth it. Plus, hey, maybe I just want to see the track dry a little bit extra time here this weekend. Alright, that's too much trying to break at the AstroTurf on the left there. This is a very... It, it, it's so weird how this track 
went from being one of kind of the longest drawn out tracks, mostly straight away, to now it's one of the most compact, intense tracks on the circuit. It feels like there's just hardly any time to breathe here. Actually, a pretty good exit right there. Saved it! Saved it! Man, that that is so easy to jump over the limit right there. Ruined whose lap? He was on one. Well, we're not gonna have our reconnaissance lap this time, I guess. We're just gonna have to go for it. And here we go, just going for it. Got it out of there. Drop two gears and then go full throttle right there. Breaking just before the answer turf. Little bit of wheel spin, not too much. Totally within reason. I'm laid down 0.049, sector one. Feels like the car needs some brakes. Love to get on the brakes a little earlier right there. Or sorry, a little later. I'm having to get on the brakes earlier. Didn't quite kick out like I would like it to right there. And it ran wide onto the curb. Not a great lap so far. Ah, two gun shy through there. This might be P10. It wasn't very good. Not very good at all. 13 9. Ugh. That's ah, disappointing. I think I got myself a little too freaked out after the spin. Ah, well. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Vettel, Leclerc, and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. Hey, not so bad. P8. I'm, I'm not hanging my head in shame, that's for darn sure. Just making it to Q3 is a success. But uh, I, I just don't feel very confident in our car here. I don't feel very confident in my ability to, to click off laps, especially if it's going to be rainy. Oh, man. That's going to be a wild race. I'm glad that I had my triumphant, you know, rain race. Good race. Oh, I got to pick a rival. Um in Silverstone because I don't think it's going to happen here. <laughs> well done. That was a good qualifying performance. Let me do that right now. We'll probably be going back with Butler. Select rival. Norris. Yeah, Butler is still a plus 10. But we could go for somebody a little stronger. I don't know what's better, the plus 10% or the, you know, 24 stars. Hmm. Let's go with Butler. <laughs> I just like to curb stomp him at this point. All right, everybody, that does it for practicing qualifying here in Hockenheim. It's gonna be a wild one tomorrow. Uh, wish us luck.